to the channel family you already know what time it is getting gay we in the stay make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and be a part of crew smash that like button and see what you do so let's see what's coming towards you this is going to be for pisces it's like a hair in my mouth it means that y'all probably might be talking shit right now or y'all might have somebody that y'all want to talk shit about but let's see okay so i'm gonna get it shuffled up and let's see what's popping all right so we have the getting yang card which says that right now you're trying to balance out your life this is the first one so that means that it's your number one priority with the storm warning card this one being in reverse let us know that right now is the time to where you're trying to avoid drama and with the indecision it's like you done kind of came to like a decision within yourself like so you're being upfront with yourself in terms of this being your main priority in terms of establishing balancing in your life balance in your life and then we also have the hostilities card which says that right now is the time to where you're going to find yourself trying to let go of frustrations, disagreements, arguments that you have with people. But you also have the Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. This one's in reverse, which says that you're not aware of something. And with that being the fifth card, it must be important. So let's see what it is. Okay, so you guys not aware of the fact uh, with the all tied up core and the anxiety core, you're going to find yourself um, confused and stressed out because with the fifth chakra archangel Gabriel, you feel strongly with this angel of strength about wanting like an honest connection with somebody in terms of relationship wise. So with the adjacent possibilities being in reverse, it's like sometimes you be like stressed out about, you know, trying to find somebody with this one. So it's like you don't really want to. It's like you be upset whenever it comes to like dating and shit like that. Like it's not really something that you want to entertain. Especially with this being the third one, this being the fourth one, so and the fifth. So yeah, definitely something that you feel strongly about. And with that, all it is right here with the six chakra archangel Metatron, this is the number six. So with that being, no, one, two, yeah, that's six cards. So with that being six, that's just saying that this is something to where you're trying to achieve balance whenever it comes to your emotional state, whenever it comes to how you see or view relationships. So you try not to be stressed out about it, but sometimes your love life could be a little bit confusing in terms of what's going on, who's coming towards you, you know, like all of that. All right. But you guys have the man holding a coin, which says that right now it's like you're going to be focused on money. You're going to find yourself prosperous in that aspect. But with the door to value being in reverse, you might be finding yourself to where you value the wrong things in terms of people or materialistic wise. So you need to be mindful just because you make your money doesn't mean that everything that you see, you need to be spending it on. Because with the blossom of abundance, it's like you're able to manifest things whenever it comes to your financial situation. You'll find that working out for you even more, even better. So this could be situations to where you might come into a new job or to where you'll sit back and find something to expand on whenever it comes to your creative aspects. But then you also have the door to personal healing and happiness, which is in reverse, which says that right here, it's a little bit difficult for you to sit back and be internally happy whenever it comes down to it. And it's more because you're stressed out about your relationship in terms of if you're going to be a one who's coming next in your love life and with the angel balance in reverse it's hard for you to get balance whenever it comes to your internal feeling so it's like one of those things to where you'll sit back and you'll smile at people's faces but really deep down it's like you be sitting back whenever you go home it's things that you run through your mind that you be thinking about whenever it comes to like relationships and like and this also plays out to where whenever we hit like a certain age and stuff like that we be sitting back like okay i'm this many years old like when is marriage coming when is this coming into my life so it's like you'll start to sit back and stress yourself out by overthinking about those things and then you guys also have the world card which is in reverse and the woman holding a coin so not too much success whenever it comes to relationships there's something that you're not able to see with the woman holding a coin being in reverse in the cornucopia you're probably not able to see the fact that you're able to be prosperous just by yourself before like before worrying about partnerships so that's why i'm saying you shouldn't worry too much about like a relationship or a partnership because you're able to be successful by yourself and then once you sit back and you're in that energy of changing the way that you think about relationships or about your life on a mental scale then that's whenever you'll see yourself being able to manifest a partner in your life but with the seven chakra archangel uriel it will be smarter with the second chakra archangel Ariel. hold on it's saying it would be smart for you to intimately connect with someone. So, 
And saying it would be smart for you to intimately connect with somebody new that's stepping into your life. But with the third chakra, Archangel Camille, it's like you pushing back against what's being presented to you. So there might be a new person that's going to come into your life. But it's like somebody that you should, it would be smart for you to connect with that person in terms of intimately. But at the same time, with the third chakra, Archangel Camille, you don't desire to intimately connect with that person. So it's like you're going against what the universe is trying to put in your life. And then with the rest and rejuvenation card, it's like you feel like you should just kind of like chill whenever it comes to other individuals entering your life. <clears throat> so you might have hesitations whenever it comes to like an intimate relationship. Whenever somebody presents that idea or wanting to take things further, you'll be hesitant in terms of doing so because of your previous relationships in terms of them not working out. And then also you guys have the journey card in reverse and the thinking man card. So you're going to find yourself not doing whatever it is that you say that you was going to do. Because with the magician in the mirror, it's like you're trying to make good choices, but it's like you're not doing what you said that you was going to do in terms of like getting into a new relationship, letting somebody <laughs> in. Instead, with the journey card being in reverse, you're going to find yourself distancing yourself because you feel like with the magician in the mirror, that's a better choice. Because with the caring connection card being in reverse, you feel like there's not too many individuals that really care for you. And even if somebody does come into your life and want to be intimate, it's like you still kind of like look at them as being suspect. Because with the first chakra archangel, Michael, it's like that's your form of like having stability is by sitting back like it's like a whole mental thing to where you'll sit back and be like okay i'm not gonna invest time and energy or to give this person you know all of me in order for me to like really see what they are with but it ends up with you pushing a person away because if you don't sit back and like get into the relationship or see what it's about then it's like how are you gonna know if this is an opportunity for love or not but anyways, hopefully this helps y'all out for today. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next video. Peace out.